The Torah tells us, if you save one life, like you save the whole world. After the Six Day War in 1967, I say, what can I give back a thankful for God for the big miracles? I say, I will leave Yerushalayim. I will go to a place that is very dark, Migdal Ha'emek. This city was the worst city in this time, crime, drugs. I decided I will build a home for these kids because when you speak to them face to face, in jail or, or in the disco or in any place, this is good boys, good guys, what happened? Israel is such a poor country. There are so many families that can't uh, put bread on the table and their kids just, you know, go out to the street. And we all know what's in the street. Leo was in the States uh, with his family. Their father there beat them, abused them. When I moved to Israel and I, I go to the school and I was a year and a year and I didn't have friends. All the teachers, that it, they, they didn't like me. They would be laughing at me, throwing things at me. I started not learning, not studying, not doing anything. And then they asked me not to come back. I have a lot of friends here. I've met them when they were so broken. I came from a dark place in life. Every child here, if not make the law, they will be lost, they will be end up in crime and drugs and everything. My teacher said, there's a place that I think would be the right place for you. It's a place that you'll feel at home. Nobody will judge you. I give the name Migdal O. The city's name is Migdal Emek. Emek is valley. In valley, you have darkness. I want to make from the darkness light. Take him out from the darkness and give him light. Take him out from the problem and give him love. Migdal showed me a different way of thinking. Here they just build you up, they hold you here and they build you up and suddenly you're just waiting, okay, let's see what life throws at me, let's see if I can handle it. You have today in Migdalo 900 people walking. 80% from them grew up in this place. And from here they can really help children with problems because they know how they had the problems. When I look at my teachers, she's my role model, that's what I want to be. Rav Grossman, he told me, I will be like your dad. From where I see you, I only care about you. No other Rav would do this, it's not a given. I would never expect a Rav to do half of the stuff he does for us. This guy comes in in the morning and he says, how can I help Am Israel? How can I help the children in Israel? When you come and you see the graduate boys, they take care of their families. You don't need to take care for the generation because when they build themselves, they will take care. That means what you put in work to help make the law, it's not only this little child. You help the economy in Israel because they go to work, they bring money. You have the army from Israel, they go to the army, they're strong. You have included, when you help me the law, you have everything together. And this is the biggest gift that a human being can have. When I grow up, I want to be like a Rav Gosman. You want to be a rabbi? I mean, 100% that everybody has a mission in his life. My idea is the most mission that you can do in your life, saving life, saving children, saving Israel.